Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII. Um, in the last episode, we were able to escape from our execution at Junon, and now we've got our hands on the Shimmer's airship, the High Wind. So, now that we've got this, we can head back up here, talk to the pilot. We're going, and we're off. So, now. Now that we've got this airship, there's actually several places we can go. Um, if you want to progress with the story, you actually want to head to this island down here in the southeast. Um, it's actually the same place we did all of that awesome training earlier. Um, I'm probably going to be doing more later, but right now, um, before we do that, we are going to travel to a few places and grab some items. So first off, you want to head up here to this house, up here in the north. Um, head inside. Um, talk to this chocobo, um, and he'll spit out this. This is your final enemy skill material, so yeah, definitely make sure you pick that up. Um, you can talk to this guy too, but, um, we won't worry about that for right now. We will be coming back here later though, so yeah, we'll keep that in mind. Um, next, you want to head down here to the western continent. Um, we need to stop by a few cities, so our first city is going to be here, Nibelheim. So, yep. Head down here, go into Tifa's house, um, then head upstairs and interact with this piano. Um, if you played the piano during the flashback and when you came back before our climb up Mount Nibble, um, you will get an elemental materia. So, yeah, make sure you play those piano. Um, so, yep. And believe it or not, that piano is the reason I had to start the entire game over again, because when I originally did it on my old save file, I didn't do that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, that was great. Um, so next, we want to head back over here to, um, Rocket Town. And we want to head inside of the shop. Um, actually, after you grab the high wind, um, a lot of the um, shops in the cities will um, update their inventory, so um, if you want to grab some stuff, like weapons or everything like that, you can um, stop by those shops. Um, head in this room, grab this, it's a fourth bracelet. And then after that, head up north into the item shop. Um, yep. Um, and this dude actually sells materia, so I'll actually grab another manipulate because I don't have any more than one. So, you have to do that. Enter this room, open up this chest, and grab a guard source. So, yep. After that, leave. Um. And now we need to head to the Cosmo Canyon. So. Uh. Is it? Okay, here we go. Um, so we need to land. You can't land on this, like, rocky terrain or anything. You can only land on the grass with the high wind. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Um, so we have to head back in here. And then... Climb up into here, into this area. And, um, before, this place was roped off. But now that we got the high wind, the rope is gone, and now we can head through here. And we can grab this stuff. So grab this, full cure materia, and grab an elixir and a magic source. So, yep. Make sure you pick those up. And now we've got one more thing we need to do. Um, so yep. Get out of here. Um, need to get back on the high wind. And now, um, we need to travel south of the Cosmo Canyon because we'll reach this island here. It's actually not even noticed um, on your map, so um, just the easiest way to um, figure it out is just to um, go more, um, go south of the Cosmo Canyon. And we need to get into a fight here. Um, you want to make sure before you do it, um, make sure you have somebody with the morph command. Um, I put it on Vincent because um, his weapon um, makes it a lot harder to miss because the enemy actually has high evasion so you'll be missing a lot with your physical attacks if um you don't have something with perfect accuracy like vincent so yep so yep just run around in here until we run into him and there it is 
it's a cactuar. Um, so what you want to do is start with um, level 4 suicide twice and do some damage. And now, um, use morph. Um, he'll still miss sometimes, but we got lucky there. Um, and he'll change into a texture elemental. And that is a really good item because what that does is gives you immunity to four elements. Um, where is it? There it is. Drains fire, cold, lightning, and earth. So, yep. Um, so, yeah, you'll want to pick a few of those up. I'm actually going to pause the episode and pick some more up. So, yeah, we'll see y'all in a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, we're here in front of Wu's High. A um, couple of things. Um, I put Yuffie back in my party because we're actually getting ready to start a side quest that requires her. Um, I went to the material shop in Cosmo Canyon and picked up some HP plus and MP plus materia. I also went to Costa del Sol to pick up some new weapons. So, yep, I did that. I also went ahead and taught enemy skills on my two new materia that I got. So, yep, I did all of that and I think we're ready to go. So, yep, hidden Wu Tai and we're actually going to be heading to the Pagoda. Um, I don't know if y'all remember it from the first time we were here. Um, yep, just this big tower back here. So, yep, just head inside. And you start by talking to this guy. Oh, Miss Yuffie, will you be climbing the pagoda today? Yep. Then I, Sacred Gorky, will be your opponent on the first floor. Yo, they call me Shake. I'll be watching your fight with Gorgi. Then begin. Power change. And, yep. Yuffie will be forced to fight all these guys on her own, which is why I had her stacked to the brim, basically. Um, this dude likes to cast barrier, um, for your, to begin with. Um, I'll actually go ahead and cast Giga Flare. Um, you can actually do this, um, immediately after you do the first side quest, um, the one where she steals all your materia and stuff, but I actually held off on that for a specific reason that you'll see, um, shortly. Um, so, yep. I love that we're basically just destroying this building just for this. It's really funny. Um, so, yep. That takes about in one hit. Um, uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, if you come here a lot earlier, these fights might be actually be a little harder, but... Here I am, Miss Yuffie. Of course. Hmm. I thought you were just a girl, but you handled that pretty good. Let's see how you do on the next one. So, yep, shake takes off. So, yep, just head upstairs. And talk to you. Who's next? Are you blind? I'm right here! What? I gotta fight a punk? Heh, <laughs> punk. I'm more of an adult than some bimbo girl. <laughs> what did you say? See what I mean? That kind of anger is what makes you so immature. Don't pat yourself on the back until you beat me. Now watch. Now the only thing you really do good is breathe. Are you sure you wanna fight? Stop yapping. Hmm. <laughs> So someone finally got past Quirky. Oh. Got the next guy, I guess. I guess it's Chekhov's turn. Here I go, brats! Speed change! Alright, so, yep. Um, the thing you can do for this fight, um, you can actually go ahead and cast level 4 suicide on them. And... Once you do that, they literally just die in one hit, so... Rage Bomber. That actually, um, casts Fury on you, so if you have, like, a ribbon or something, you can put that on, and you won't have to worry about that. Um, but yep. That was also very easy. Um, if he levels up, we got a Terror Leather. Ah! So you can fight a bit. 
Of course! Ho ho ho, it's been a while since I felt pain. Alright. So now, we move on. Head up the stairs. And talk to you. So, even Shake's been defeated. It's been a while since you had to fight, eh, Chekhov? Unfortunately, this is as far as it goes. Stainiv, you watch over there. That ain't going to happen. I'll teach you about the strength of youth. Keep mouthing off like that, little girl, and you're going to get burned. I got insurance. <laughs> well, bad response. Ho ho ho. Mostly if you still talk like that after you taste some of my sacred magic. Magic change. Alright, so, yep. Uh, you can't level for suicide them. But, um, they'll use this stare down. Um, which is another reason you should probably have a ribbon on. Or something that can prevent, like, um, paral paralyzation. Uh, so yeah, just... Um, we'll go ahead and use another Bahamut, why not? Yep, destroy the villain a second time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. So. Yep, this should take him out. Yep, very easy. Um, so, yep. Get an ice ring. I can't believe you beat me. Of course! This should be interesting. It's been too long since I've had the chance to use my full power. So, yep. Um, you can actually, um, heal in between these fights. You can even leave if you want. Um, and save in between the fights if you want, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, moving on. Head upstairs. Talk to you. The rule is the best fighter on each floor will be your opponent. This is a five-story pagoda, but the fourth floor is the highest. In other words, no one has ever defeated me, master of weaponry. You still want to try? Just come on. I like you. Now watch. Weapon change. Okay. So, yep. This is our fourth battle. And, um, just like the battle with Shake, you can actually use level 4 suicide on them. And do heavy damage. And then... At this point, you can just hit them and it'll, it'll drop. So, yep. Grab an elixir. Wh what? Of course. But, oh, here they are. Splendid. You have definitely improved. Oh, you might not be as much of a child as we thought you were. Of course, if we lost to her. You have defeated four of our best, but now you'll have to face him. So, yeah. They head up the stairs. And, I guess we'll go ahead and top ourselves off. Um... Uh, no, actually, I won't use an ether. So, yep. Head up the stairs. And... Oh, it's you! Um, uh, dad I'm glad you made it this far, Yuffie. Well, why are you... I'll answer you by having you try your skills against me. Hold nothing back. Come as if you're trying to kill me. If you don't, then I'll have to kill you. <laughs> hey! What are you doing? Omni change! So, yep. Yeah, he has gotta face her father for the final fights. Um. So, yep. Yeah, this fight is honestly kind of a pain if you're not prepared for it. Um. He'll start with Bio 2. Um, so, yeah. 
Let's just start hitting him with some magic. Um. Yeah, well, beta. Yeah, that actually did a lot. Um. Beast sword. Ow. Uh. Beta again. Um. And he'll eventually heal himself. Um. And try. This is the reason I saved this side quest for so late. Because if you um, do this and you don't get those other enemy skill material, you'll literally miss that skill. So, yeah. That's why you want to um, come back here as late as you can. So, yep. Um, he'll heal himself, but if you do more damage than he has healing, then this won't be a problem. Uh, you can also use Magic Hammer to, um, drain him of all of his magic. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, he'll also cast a bunch of status on you, but if you have the ribbon on, you won't have to worry about it. Um, eventually once he runs out of magic, he'll just start using, um, that, um, beast sword attack, so, yeah, um, yeah, we'll just keep magic hammering him, and that trying again, I actually went ahead and put, um, elemental armor on her, that way she doesn't take damage from that, um, so, yeah, heal, drain, that's not a problem, Magic Hammer. Uh. Okay, I. He's, okay, I think I think he's out now. So, yep, we'll go with the Grease Lightning. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and heal just to be on the safe side. Cure two. And we will go ahead and destroy this building for a third time. Oh, nope, I guess the building's safe. <laughs> He's dead, so, yep. Here, we get a bunch of money for this, and we get all creation, which is Yuffie's ultimate limit break. Heave, heave. Puff, puff. Old coot, not bad. You've also improved. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Oh god! What was that? Jesus Christ, it scared me. Why? It's time I gave this to you, Yuffie. This is the Leviathan Materia. Take it. So, yep, we get the Leviathan Materia. That is your water summon. But, Lord Godo, Leviathan Materia should only be given to the person who conquers and takes over this pagoda. That is our custom. Custom, custom, custom. I'm so sick of hearing that. It's so stupid. Silence, Miss Yuffie. So what about all of you? With all your power, are you satisfied being cooped up in this tower? Yuffie! You too, Dad, just because you lost the war. You turned Wutai into a place like this. What do you mean? You turned Wutai into this cheesy resort town peddling to tourists. How, how dare you! That child statue and Leviathan are ashamed. Hmm. She is a kid. W what did you say? Yuffie! Forgive me. It's all my fault. What are you saying, Lord Godo? Losing the war, turning Wutai into this, was all my fault. Lord Godo! Silence! Yuffie, I'm the same now as I was before when I wanted war, but after losing, I began to think, 
is strength for beating enemies, or just something to show off. Might begets might, the same as Shinra. I knew you were looking for material for the good of Wutai, but the reason I hide my strength now is also for the good of Wutai, and now I realize both are necessary. Strength without determination means nothing, and determination without strength is equally useless. Lord Godo. You there, please take Yuffie with you. I perceive that you all have both determination and strength. As long as she doesn't interfere. After that, how can we refuse? Go, Yuffie, for the sake of Wutai. Dad. I'll take care of the five sacred gods until you return. Go, and come back alive. Duh. Yep. So, yep, they all head out. Yuffie, wait a minute. After their battle is over. Do you think they'll still want all their materia? Dad! Go! Fight till the end, but come back! With the materia! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you bet! Oh, like father, like daughter, I guess. Oh. But that's sweet, though. Alright. So, yep. Now... We're done with all of that, so, yep. Now that we're finished with that, we can actually finally proceed with the story. Um, so now, we'll head out of here, and we will travel to Medial, so, yep. Out of here. And basically, we gotta go this way. And here we are. So, this is Medeal. Um, so, in the next episode, we will enter Medeal and see what we can do about Cloud. So, yep. We'll catch y'all then. Peace.